Hello my friends and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Uh, there's a very honorable thing to uh, die or to fight and to uh, expose your, I don't know, put your life on the line for your uh, values and uh, convictions. Uh, be philosophical or religious, dogmatic, or simply preferences, but to sacrifice your life for them, good or bad, uh, I think that shows character. Uh, as I said, good or bad, because you are able to, uh, you know, um, stay, stay the course regardless of the consequences, to, uh, you know, be hurt, punished for your beliefs, as I said, values traditions, good or bad. This article comes from The Telegraph, September 7th, 2022, and this is the title. I'd rather stay in prison for a century than play by these transgender rules, says jailed teacher. An Irish teacher suspended for refusing to use gender-neutral pronouns has said he would rather stay in prison for a century than compromise his beliefs of transgenderism. Enoch Berkey, an evangelic, evangelical Christian, was jailed for contempt of court on Monday after breaching the injunction, injunction not to go to or try to teach at Wilson's Hospital School in Co. West Math. I don't know what Co is. C O. Maybe my. Uh, I don't think it's county. But uh, Berkey was arrested after turning up to the school to work after a disciplinary process began after he refused to refer to a transgender student as "quote unquote" they. So he refused to refer to a person as one person as they because that person wanted to be called they. Wednesday's hearing in Dublin was a chance for the secondary school history and German teacher to plunge his contempt and be freed by consenting to the order during a hearing to review its terms. Instead, he, hauled the court. he told the court that even if he had to remain in prison for, and I'm quoting, every hour of every day, for the next 100 years, he would not comply. He said transgenderism was contrary to scripture and that in his instance, he would only obey God and would not obey man. Berkey, who represented himself, was returned to Montreux prison, Mount, Mount Joy prison, to spend a third night in jail and was ordered to pay the legal costs of the school, which has suspended him on full pay. He has been told that he can uh, be freed simply by signaling his intention to abide by the injunction, which the Church of Ireland school took out to prevent disruption at the beginning of the school term. In June, Berkey had publicly confronted the principal over the policy of a church service and dinner to mark the school's 260th anniversary. Despite his paid suspension, he would turn up at the schools for meetings or simply to sit in an empty classroom, declaring he was ready to teach before his arrest earlier this week. Mr. Justice Max Barrett ruled that the injunction should remain in place until a high court decision. The court's decision was about the terms of the injunction and Berkey The court decision was about the terms of the injunction and Berkey's suspension and not his religious belief, he said. Well, how did it all get there? Let's start with the beginning. How about that? Berkey had earlier claimed he was before the courts over his refusal to comply with what he said was his unlawful suspension. And uh, the direction by the school to address one of its students by a different pronoun was to deny him his constitutional rights to religious freedom, 
he claimed. That is the issue, he said. He said that by agreeing to comply with his suspension would be akin to agreeing with transgenderism. He claimed that disciplinary procedures against him were flawed and described any allegations of gross misconduct against him as being ludicrous. Berkey said that the student at the center of the request was not in any way in any of his classes, nor had had any direct dealings with the pupil. In correspondence to Mr. Berkey, the school denied that anyone is being forced to do anything. The no. <laughs> Nobody forces you to uh, follow the law, but once you break uh, the law that was made in a certain way, you're going to pay the penalty. Do you agree with the law? Doesn't matter. You're going to pay the penalty. Nobody forces you. The school said it is focusing on the needs and welfare of its students and is affirming its policy in accordance with the 2000 Equal State Status Act of non-discriminating against any student. What about the welfare of the teachers? Do they have rights? Do they have welfare? Do they have convictions? Do they have values? Do you discriminate against their values? The school said it has acknowledged Mr. Berkeley's religious beliefs but expects him to communicate with the students in accordance with the students and their parents' wishes. So if I say that I would like to be called Napoleon, will they have to? Or let's say I would like to be called, let's say, your name is Michael Jackson. I said, I want you to address to me as Michael Jackson. Would you do that? Or let's say a student of mine comes and say, I want you to, to call me from now on Emil Kosman. Should I do that? I mean, how? Anyway, so the school says despite his suspension, Mr. Berkey has not been sanctioned and no finding has been made against him. He was suspended. He was suspended and been punished. Full pay? I don't care. You change his normal, his normal status. So that shows you did something to that person for whatever he did. So despite his suspension. Yes, it's a suspension. Has not been sanctioned. He's sanctioned by being suspended, you morons. The next stage of the school's disciplinary process is due, is due to take place later this month. Well, what do you think? What do you think? Do we still, do we still follow a evidence reality-based I don't know, society and life, or we follow a subjective representation of reality, and if it's subjective, that can change at any second. So right now I can be Michael Jackson, tomorrow I can be your daddy, and tomorrow I can be the a lady of the night, and the next minute I can be, I don't know, uh, Prince Charles, or the next day I can be, I don't know, Meghan Markle, God forbid. So you know what I mean? And you have to do what? And let's say you go and show up at the, I don't know, border crossing. And you say, well, my passport is on Emil Kosman, but actually my name is Tom Jones. What should they do? Should they say, yes, Mr. Tom Jones, that's you? Or oh, you are Emil Kosman? Who are you? I'm Tom Jones, but I go by Tom Jones, but you see my passport is Emil Kosman. How, or let's say you go and sign a document and over there is written Emil Kosman and I sign Tom Jones, would that be okay? I mean, you, you understand a little bit what, uh, what this is. And what if tomorrow we go from I want to be called this way to I am this because you claim you are something else that, uh, you know, some people might disagree with. So let's say tomorrow I go and I change my title instead of saying someone is happy. Got a 1910 car. Uh, so anyway, let's say now you want to be called they, for instance. Tomorrow you want to be called the bird, and tomorrow you want to call be called the president, and the next day you want to be called your boss. And not only that, I'm want to be called your boss I want that to be factual in a way that I will be your boss so you see 
the subjective goes into objective. So I want to be subjective by identifying myself with something that I want you objectively to call me by my subjective interpretation. I want you to be objective. I can, you can't be subjective. So let's say if I say I want to be called, I don't know, Tom Jones because I feel like that and you feel like not calling me Tom Jones but you feel like calling me Michael Jackson because you have the same right of representation. So if I have the right to feel in a certain way and represent myself in a certain way, then you have the same right to observe me and represent me in however you want. If you can change reality the way you want, you have the same right to change the per your perception as I am. I have the right to change my perception. And if I impose my per perception on you, you should have the same right to impose your perception on me. So you understand where are we going with that? I say, I am Michael Jackson and you say, no, you're Tom Jones. Why should my interpretation, my identification be the real one, an accurate one, the preferred one, but not yours, because we have the same right. So my perception of myself and reality doesn't supersede your perception of myself and reality, unless I have more power than you have. And I don't, right? I hope not. So regarding this guy, he was suspended. That means you did something wrong according to us because you refused to obey or abide by someone else's identification. But his way of observing things and identifying things was denied. Only the other person was, uh, was accepted, you see? So that's not about discrimination. It's about you have this, you are not allowed to have that. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.